Welcome back to the Hydrofoil Pro Tour 2016, stop number three here in Mauritius. This is race number 16. We're just about 30 seconds away from the P flag coming down. The breeze is marvelous today, just perfect. A little bit more left, a little bit more down, I would say. So that's P flag down, indicating one minute left until the start. We just had Maxime coming by doing a bunch of freestyle before this race. He did a perfect uh, foil to dark slide, landed back on the foil, no touchdown. That was pretty rad. Um, and I'm like, and the photo guys were like, "Come back, do another one." I'm like, "Dude, there's only two minutes left until the start. He's got to get to work." Because he's got a tough job here. He's got to crack into that top, back into that top three. Ollie Bridge, the man standing on the podium at this moment, is going down towards the pin, and Maxime is up here near the boat. 15. Ollie goes down towards the pin. All clear, all clear, all clear. Martin Turbo had a nice little start here up at the top. Hit the boat real hard. And, and there goes Ollie. Ollie's down near the pin and he's trucking out to the left hand side. It looks like everyone's pretty well headed right now on starboard. Jerome is smoked on that kite, isn't he? So Groover's on that 18, Johnny and Nika are on that 15 meter ozone. Maxime's on the 15. Mm. So there they go. Now they're starting to wind up. Johnny is just cranking up under those guys. And Maxime's starting to crank up. Now Johnny gets knocked a little bit. Or, you know, I can't say that these are shifts. I think that these are, you know, you guys, you, the audience at home, those of you who are foiling much more than me, uh, would know, you know, those adjustments to course, you know, they're, they're in the 10 degrees, you know, range. I mean, they're, they're up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10. And I'm not sure if that, you know, I, I do know that that is sometimes a speed adjustment when you squirt out in front of that watermelon seed situation. But also, you know, there could be some shift on this course. I do know there's shift as I hold up my string um, and measure the breeze. We're getting, yeah, a variance of probably 10 degrees in pretty short period today. Um, yesterday there was a longer period and we were talking a lot about, and the day before, we were talking about these kind of long oscillations or good, you know, good timing oscillations for the beat. These beats are more or less three or four minutes long. And, um, and if you get two shifts during that beat, this, you know, period of two or three minutes, two minutes, maybe even one and a half. So there goes Axel and Maxime. right next to each other. Well. What a great looking lineup, huh? Pretty much bow even everybody. Can really measure angle and speed by this view. You can, you can really see the difference of what these riders are doing especially with this clarity. And here they go, all their tacks on ley line. Bada bing, bada boom. Ollie looks like he's just ahead at the top mark, good for him. So Ollie's putting in his bid once again. 
Look at that low angle. See, Ollie ends up staying high. Damn. And here they come. So those two, those two O zones and those two F ones are hot on the tail of Ollie Bridge. Magnificent. Boiling windsurfer for cruising by. And they do the jibe. Yeah. Here comes the jibe. Bridge jibe. Oh no, parlier jibes. I thought Bridge put his kite up there for a second. So Johnny pushes on Ollie. Jibes first. And they're coming in on a. That's a lit angle. Nico has put in that early jive like he likes to do. It's been working for him. Let's see if he goes into that layback. He's in the crouch right now. But that's not the soak crouch. That's more of the full speed crouch. He's got a helmet with a GoPro on in this race. Nico's filming his races at this point. So he is comfortable in the lead at this regatta. I know he wants to win every damn race. But he also wants to catch something for his, uh, for his family and his friends at home. Probably show some of that footage to the Black Dog team. Just saw some results from the, uh, the Fork Regatta. And Black Dog team member Jacob Olivier was leading the event up in Canada. Tied with Zach Marks. But winning the tiebreaker. So Parlier and, and Heineken go around the bottom mark and take a left-hand turn. Bridge takes his usual right-hand turn. And then Maxime and Mazella come around, take the left-hand turn, and they send it out that way. So here comes Flo on his big ol' 18. Jess, what's his name again, the kid from Dubai? Rui. Rui. I, no. Anyway, I'm bad. I'm sorry about the names. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just trying to get to know some of these new guys that are, that are attending these tour events. Some of the younger guys. I do a lot of commentary about the top because that's what we're looking at most of the time. But you know, it's really cool to see these these all these different categories of sailors coming through. And here comes Marvin. He had a big old wide rounding. He's in a new category. Okay. Yep. She's her kite's down. We got a little rescue situation we got to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on one moment. Uh, Danny, 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 this is Robbie, 6 9. Uh, Danny, this is Robbie. Just wanted to check in on that red kite that's up in the air. You guys okay? You got her managed? Yeah, please go ahead. All right, thanks a lot. So, Daniela Moroz uh, had a little bit of a rescue scenario up at the top and. Danny, our man from the Mauritius Yachting Association, sorting her out. Not sure exactly what happened. We got another kite down here. Anyway, back to the action. Maxime and Axel, no, no, what, they split. So I, I, I lost, lost sight of them, but it looks like that's Axel on the left.
and Maxime on the right. I'm looking at my binos. I'll probably have that backwards once again. Harley comes in to cross in front of Heineken, and Ollie looks like he crossed in front of Heineken. You can see it on the screen. Whoa. Wow. Bang, bang, bang. So it's Parlier, then Bridge, then Heineken. No, Heineken Bridge. Oh, Heineken Bridge and Parlier. Thank you. Someone's got to keep me straight. Thanks, Benny. Damn announcer. So Heineken pulls into the lead. Didn't see what he did on that beat, but those of you watching saw it at home. So we're looking forward to an awesome party tonight. We're going to have a big old shindig at the Preskill Beach Resort. Jesus. So Ollie's got a low lane there. Finally. Heineken's trying to shoot over the top. Probably I just squeak out under them. Parley? Parley is going that high lane trying to work around Johnny. It's so fast. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Parley is putting the hammer down full speed. He's sailing around them. Parley literally just sailed around Ollie and he's sailing around Johnny. That guy is unstoppable. Oh my god. Look at that. Anyone ever see anything looking like that before? I haven't. That was the rock pile, the famous rock pile. Hopefully we uh, stay clear of that for the next couple races. We've got high water and here comes Parlier into the bottom mark right in front of Heineken. Parley has got this thing locked up once again. Bridge is out there with them in third. This is a nice little push. Let's see Johnny push on him. Come on, Johnny. Give this guy a little bit of a run. You're making it too easy on Parley. Parley is checking it. He's taking his helmet off. He says, oh, my gosh. Show off. <laughs> He's got his helmet off. Nice. Johnny Heineken, then Ollie Bridge. Unbelievable, that kid. Freaking unbelievable. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, we have one more race to go. And I think it's safe to say that Nico Parlier has this regatta locked up in the bag. It's in the refrigerator. The door's closed, the lights are off. The butter's getting cold and the jello's jiggling. Axel Mazella comes into the bottom mark or into the finish. Followed by Jean and Flo. Oh, the finish between Jean and Flo. Flo on the outside. Oh no, that's Maxime. That's not Jean. Yeah, it's Maxime. So Flo just got one out of Maxime. Wow. Well, Maxime is probably going to go back to the drawing board after this event and figure some things out before he heads over to China. Had a little chat with him the other day about that, and he's, uh, he is thinking about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks once again for joining us. We're enjoying ourselves here on the boat, and I swear I'm going to get this red and orange kite right in the next race. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon for the final race of the 2016 Hydrofoil Pro Tour number three stop here in Mauritius. Cheers, everyone.